Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Al. I'm working in the afternoon, and I want to bring you the second of our Holy Week meditations. Holy Tuesday was called the Day of Controversy because Jesus was back in those same temple courts that he had driven out the people from the day before, and he was indeed in controversy with the Jewish leaders. You can find the story in Matthew chapter 21, 23 to 27. And then I'll refer to Matthew 10, 19 and to Stephen's story in Acts 6, 10. So Jesus went back into those temple courts and he began to teach. And the Jewish leaders came and tried to trip him up so that they would have a pretext for having him killed. As they began with Jesus, they were not able to match his wisdom. The Bible tells us this in Matthew 21, 23. Jesus entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked. Who gave you this authority? Now do remember that just the day before Jesus had gone in there and driven all those uh, commercial people out of the temple area, the profiteers, the ones who were price gouging. And he had said that it's a place of prayer. So by what authority, Jesus, are you doing this stuff? Jesus replied, I will also ask you a question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I'm doing these things. John's baptism, where did it come from? Was it from heaven or of human origin? They discussed it among themselves and said, if we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the people, for they all held that John, John the Baptist that was, was a prophet. So they answered, we do not know. Then he said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Here we have Jesus in a point of controversy with very intelligent people, and they were trying to trick him up. Now notice what Jesus did. In this case, he asked a question back to them. Keep in mind that Jesus could discern their motives. He knew that they were trying to trap him so that indeed they could put him to death. But Jesus asked this question, and by doing so, he forces them to... Uh, Think about how they will answer, and they are afraid. You know, I, there are a couple points that I just want to make from this today. We come in contact with many non-Christians. Sometimes they ask us questions that we don't know uh, the answer to. Sometimes they ask us questions just to trip us up. But we need to learn from Jesus. Jesus, being led by the Holy Spirit, asked them a question they didn't want to ask. Now, sometimes we'll be asked something that we honestly don't have the answer. For instance, uh, an Afro-American some time back asked me about how could God love people if the New Testament affirms slavery, which, by the way, slavery in New Testament times was nothing like the uh, Negro slaves who were beat. But I only had, I had to go and study that. But anyway... What we need to know is the Holy Spirit will give us help. Matthew 10, 19 says this, But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. Now, this is the kind of situation where, uh, you know, we're asked something. It's important that we say something, and the Holy Spirit will give it to us. Now, this does not negate the necessity of, of studying the Bible. In fact, if we study the Bible, the Holy Spirit has much more to work with because it's already in our minds. This worked for Stephen in the New Testament. Stephen was also in an argument or a controversy with many of the Jewish leaders, starting with Acts chapter 6, verse 8. And I want to look at verse 10. It says, They could not stand up against his wisdom, or the Spirit by whom he spoke. The Holy Spirit was given Stephen what to say. And so, 
Stephen was able to refute their wisdom and he was given a message by God. A recent example was a man by the name of Nabil Karushi. He was a Muslim and his story is in a book called Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. Nabil Karushi's dad was a, a well-trained Muslim apologist. In other words, he could defend the faith very well among Christi uh, with Christians. He knew what he was talking about. But one day, Nabil and his dad went to a meeting with a man who was very schooled in and also was very sensitive to the Holy Spirit, where they dialogued about Islam and Christianity. And for the first time, Nabil saw that his dad could not match up to what the other person was saying, the Christian man was saying. That other person, whose name I don't remember, was given wisdom from the Holy Spirit. So I want to say to you today, as we come in contact with people, they will ask us questions that we don't know the answer. That's all right. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will give you the right words to say. And honestly, at sometimes you may have to say, well, that's a good question. I don't have the answer to it now, but I will have it later. So learning from Jesus on the day of controversy, I suggest to you today that we learn to follow the Holy Spirit as we share Jesus and as we share about our Christian faith. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the way Jesus followed you. We thank you for the way Stephen followed you. We thank you for contemporary examples of people who have been led by the Holy Spirit to say the right thing. We pray that we will be those people also and that we will learn to follow you as they did. In Jesus' name, amen.